Yeah, that, that's that's garbage. So yeah, um, for the last month or so, uh, leaves have been accumulating in the pond, uh, like over and over and over and over again. And finally, well, as you can tell, if you look up, well, uh, they're they're all gone, pretty much off this one tree that's been putting them in the pond. But last week is when I actually should have filmed this video because that's when there was a ton of leaves in here. There were so many leaves in here that you could not even see any speck of gravel. I'm not even exaggerating that at all. Now I did want to, now I did go ahead and clean the, most of those leaves out, and now it's just mainly pine straw that's in the pond. But the pond still looks like trash. I already drained it some way, uh, a little bit, but I'm gonna like finish draining it like halfway at least. The waterfall over there, the like the spillway, it, it, the water flow was like literally like just dripping out. It was just dripping. Now that's all it was doing. It it looks okay now, but I can probably get in the filter and clean a little bit more out. But yeah, uh, we got some work to do, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna make this thing look uh, as as good as I possibly can get it back to looking. Now in the springtime, I'm thinking about go ahead and like redoing this pond base and making it bigger and all that. Now we are still gonna be getting a gar and some type of catfish for this. There is the bass and the bluegill still in here. They're doing totally fine. Like the water, I wouldn't say it's crystal clear, but it obviously because all the tannins that soaked out of the leaves and the pine straw, it made the, the water look like a brown. So we're gonna try to you know really dilute that and try to get this pond back looking to good as I possibly can get it even the outside of the pond as well and look at the actual pond there's no more lily pads for at least the time being in the winter time uh, after about a month or so of it being pretty cold the lily pads die off and they stay gone for at least a good three to four months and then back in the springtime they come back out but I am gonna start doing some more fishing videos that there is now no more lily pads in the pond without any further ado let's get right into uh, getting this pond back looking to how it uh, needs to be looking <laughs> Okay, so quick update. I've basically gotten all of the leaves and the pine straw out of here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get them all out of the creek up there, which I should have already done. Then I'm going to finish like draining this. Not all the way, of course, but only about halfway. So probably another good 50 to 75 gallons. Then we're going to fill this thing back up and try to get the flow to flow out a little bit faster. So uh, let's continue. <laughs> Okay, so got the creek cleaned out up there. Had to put the gravel back. It already like, like washed in right there on the edge. Took the piece of driftwood out. The fish are doing fine. The bluegill's like over there. The bass is like over there somewhere. It's hard to see. Draining the water right now. Pretty much gotten all the leaves out of here. I'm gonna clean off the filter pads a little bit. I did clean them off last week like I like had to, but I'm gonna clean them off a little bit more now. And then we're gonna fill this bad boy back up, get this thing back running, and uh, hopefully it looks somewhat good again. And then I'm also going to rake all these leaves out from around the pond so they don't start like blowing back in there but after this once to get this thing back up and going and about it won't be this weekend but probably next weekend we're gonna try to go and catch a gar for this then we'll have the bass bluegill gar and then we'll get like i said get a catfish and maybe even a pleco for it now in about three weeks from now i'm gonna be getting my pool pond on my porch which will be for like exotics like i said in my previous videos and all that it will be heated and all that so it'll be totally fine to be outside with exotics in it it'll be anywhere from about three to four hundred gallons so that's gonna be pretty freaking dope when we get that so for now uh, i'm gonna keep working on this thing until i get ready to fill it back up then i'll check back in with you guys all righty so i've now gotten everything back into place got the drupal back in there all the leaves are out creek all cleaned up got the whole entire pond on the outside cleaned up from around all the leaves clean the filter pads we just now have one more thing to do and that's fill this thing up pond is now officially filled back up now you can't really tell it on camera but the pond does look a lot clearer and i'm sure by tomorrow it'll be even more clearer than this but i did something new i actually put a rock up under the liner over there where the creek is at so that way when it washes off hopefully it doesn't wash as many rocks off the edge into the pond and basically just glides off that one rock i don't know i would just have to see that's just something new i'm trying out but uh we're about to turn this thing back on and see how this thing looked boom just like that lights on here comes a waterfall. Yep, here it comes. Well, let's see what it does. Okay. 
So it's washing. Oh boy, there they go. Yeah, okay. So I need to fix that edge where it's flowing over to this side. So change of plans. This is what I did. I took the rock from up underneath the liner. I actually took a little, uh, like a small rock, put it on top, and it now makes the water pressure go a lot faster. It makes a lot more ripples and a lot more movement on the surface, as you can tell. So I'm going to keep it at that, and it also helps hold the rocks up there. Either in the next video or the next video, we'll go ahead and feed the fish in there in here. Now real quick, here's the molly tank. i got to fix the power head because it's actually tilted up. That's why it's making that noise. Just like that. There's some of the mollies right there. There's some back there in the cave. The sword tail just chilling right there. Now when the water is a lot warmer, uh, they're usually out here swimming around and stuff. But right now, it's a little bit cold. It's like in the 60s right now, so that's why they're not quite as active right now. That's pretty much it though. Not a very long video, but we have some pretty cool things coming up. Like I said, the pool pond. We're actually going to start breeding the blue lobster pretty soon with a uh, another type of lobster. Not a white one, but another color. Anyways, be sure to drop a like on the video, drop a comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. That means that guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.